Hey everybody, welcome back to Octoplay's Spec Ops The Line. Let's uh, go ahead and make our way to the tallest tower in Dubai. I used to know the name of it, don't anymore. So, uh, our squad is kind of broken right now, in the fact that Lugo kind of hates my guts, and Adams just doesn't agree with any decision I'm making. So, yeah. Not going great right now. What's up, buddy? Oh, well, he fell. Hopefully that will count as an actual kill. It did not. Okay, so, just gotta watch out for that. And welcome to the RPG segment of the Let's Play. I have grabbed the RPG, Adams. Don't worry about it. And now it's out of ammo. So, that was the RPG section. Join me next time! No, just kidding. Okay. So the FAMAS is really good, but... It's also hard to use sometimes, because it fires so fast, and you basically have to be at some sort of range to use it properly. I'm not seeing these guys. Let me stun them over there. It goes slow motion when I I, his, I hit a successful stun on multiple people. I'm just trying to give uh, Lugo and Adams enough time to start picking them off. I did not kill him, really? Usually the FAMAS kills really fast. Wow, okay. Sounds like the last guy right here. Nope. Okay, so let's use 417 now. Favorite non-heavy weapon in the game. For sure. Now I think that's all. So let me see. I want an M4 here. M4, there we go. Let's go around and execute everyone and get all the ammo we can. There's a full ammo for the M4 coming up here, so it's not for the M4, it's for the M417. M417, it's just a 417. Ugh. By the way, uh, if you guys ever hear me, if I say something wrong and then I say it again, that's me, like, being like, wow, I'm stupid. It's not, like... I confused someone the other day. I was ordering a hot chocolate, and I said, Can I have a chocolate milk? That's a chocolate milk. That's uh, hot chocolate. Name's Sergeant Lugo, and he's got a point. Because I was like, oh, chocolate milk, what am I thinking? So, sorry if that confuses you. But I'm trying to fix that. That's something about myself that I want to change. Because I confuse people that don't know me very well. <clears throat> So this is Riggs. He says frag out, and that's not a frag grenade. I can't see. Just stay down. You know, these guys could just kill us right here. The game would be over. Nope. They gotta be stupid. Stupid bad guy syndrome. Alright, get some frags. There's the M4 ammo. Now, I think I'm gonna use 417 for pretty much everything here. Yeah, the 417, I think I told you guys, it's a one-shot headshot. It just blows their head off, so... And I smack this guy, because then I will get my ammo back. <clears throat> my two bullets. There we go. Now, there are snipers over here, but if you slide right here and just wait, Riggs will come up there and kill them both. So, that's what I like to do. And then just quick headshot those two guys. 
come in here. I like to play this a little risky. Uh, I don't advise... I can't jump over that for whatever reason. I don't advise coming over here. I advise just going back and stick uh, sticking with your team. But, I mean, I'm stupid, so... There we go. Oh, vault. Let me vault. There we go. So I like to come over here because it completely flanks everyone on the roof because they take cover right there. And there's a heavy that comes out, so... There's a heavy right there. But that's the problem, is that they'll throw grenades right at you. Now, the frags... I'm not entirely sure if the frags do damage to the heavies. But it makes them stop coming at you and it blinds them. So that's why I use the frags on them. I'm sure sticking a grenade to them will kill them, but... Still not... Or, uh, will not kill them, but do damage to them. But still not completely sure on it. Open the door. Yeah, so that can happen if uh, you go too far forward when there is a dialogue tree. Basically, you're not a tree, just dialogue. Basically, what he's saying is... Uh, the people were ready to rise up. Like, we just gave them the tools. And then, of course, Adams and Lugo don't agree. Because Adams and Lugo don't agree with anything. That tends to be how this game goes. Well, that was a good shot. Where are you? Oh, is that that guy? Yeah, it is guy. Now he's dead. Oh. Man, there's a good shot followed by a whole bunch of bad shots. Please let me execute someone. Oh. There we go. That execution does not use any ammo, so you don't have to worry about that. There's ammo back here. Oh, right here. Okay. I was going to say, there's ammo back here somewhere. I just don't remember where. Oh, sorry. I should probably be actually paying attention. So, there's the Aquatic Coliseum. Now, we're obviously going to help Riggs uh, steal the water, because uh, that will cripple the 33rd. So the door's locked, and this is another stupid area of the game, in my opinion, just stupidly written, because, I mean, Adams has been opening doors the entire game with his shotgun. That's the point of carrying a shotgun with you. So this is when uh, we get introduced to uh, Conrad's elite forces, that they have crazy armor, and they take a lot of bullets. They're not quite as much as a heavy, but... I wouldn't say they're close, but especially if you hit them in the head. But if you're hitting them in the chest, it, it takes a while. Okay, so there they are. They're all in black, and they have, like, uh, skulls and stuff painted on their helmets. And Yes, use a stun grenade. Yes, please. They also have P90s. Which is a great weapon in this game. Because you can have it either with... I only have one bullet. Well, there it goes. Actually, I'll show you. So you can have P90 either with the, the default reticle, or the default crosshair like that. Or the alternate fire is you put a laser on it. And that's great for close range. It's not fantastic for long range, because it's hard to pinpoint where the laser's pointing. It's also really good for blind fire. P90s also uh, does pretty decent with damage, so... Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Alright, so let's go around and just execute all these guys, get as much ammo as we can. Uh, 
mainly for the 417 because like we're gonna get p90 ammo here off all these dudes all right calm down so i got full ammo for uh, the 417 which is nice Okay, well, I mean, for an old man, Riggs is pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty intense there. Oh, this part. I don't like this part. This part is the hardest part on, uh, uh, on FUBAR, in my opinion. Because the guy on the turret back there, I had a sniper rifle at this point. And, or maybe I, it was just the 417. Anyway, you can zoom in and there's not actually anyone on that uh, machine gun. You just kind of have to go until everyone's dead. So it's like a machine gun that will never ever leave. That's why it's annoying. And of course, they throw a heavy at you. Trying to get into cover. This car right here. Ouch! Shotgun. There is the heavy. So I'm gonna tell Lugo and Adams just to kill him. Please kill him. Oh man, so many bullets in his head. There we go. See, look, there's, there's no one on there. I'm not sure if you can tell from that angle. Oh, come on, pop back up, please. Thank you. See, there's... Oh, there is! It's just his hands. Interesting. Okay. Usually I take him out with a grenade. Only on FUBAR is that part annoying. Uh, let's go ahead and get some grenades. That's all over. Come on, we're almost there. You boys secure the trucks. I'll round up what's left of my men. See you inside. Okay. Secure the trucks. I don't trust them. Neither do I. But right now, Rick's <laughs> <is> <laughs> Look at Walker's leg, right? Blip. Oh, that's funny. Just like goes off to the side. Just uh, uh, it's funny. At least I think it's funny. But I think stupid things are funny. So. I don't know why that box gave me 99. Usually they only give you 50. I'm going to sprint right behind you and punch you in the back of the head if that's okay with you. So this is the only point where the sniper will ever come in handy. And I have the 417 so it won't actually come in that handy. And I'm not going to use it. Uh, because 417, gosh, 417 does the same damage as the sniper when you're shooting the chest. So there's just no point in using the sniper other than having the longer, uh, the longer, uh, zoom. It's really hard to see him. There we go. I think I got him. Okay, so... This is when I'm going to start coming over here. Just, oh, get in cover, please. But this area... It can be difficult if you don't know what you're doing. It's not too, too bad. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, forgot about the snipers that came across the side. Well, now you guys know what the... Death screen looks like. So, this is awkward. Just, uh, some nice art, right? Anyway, um, <clears throat> so let's, uh, 
Let's continue. I might actually use the sniper. Just just to be sure that I'm hitting uh, the snipers and taking them out first. They are definitely the deadliest targets. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use the sniper. I might as well. Of course, it's great when I can't see. Uh, and that 417 won't won't disappear, so that's good. Just gotta be sure to get headshots. Oh, they're there already. Okay, so moving over there spawns them. Didn't know that. Ah, ah, I'm not in a good position. Ah. It's okay, just calm down. Just take a second. Ooh, we got one. Okay. See, I hit him right in the chest. Twice? What's he doing? Did he just have a heart attack and die over there? That's what it looked like. Alright. So this guy, I like to zoom in all the way. Just to be sure I'm gonna hit him. Now there is a sniper over there. I do like to hit him, but it doesn't look like I'm going to. It doesn't really matter at this point, because I've taken all those other snipers out. Oh man, please don't come around the corner. Please, please don't kill me. Thank you. Okay, so, what you should do uh, is run up here, and at this point, you would have spawned the snipers and then just come right here. Like that. At least that's what I usually do. This time I'm doing something completely different. Yeah, Adam should get him. Oh, there's an execute. I want to execute you. Oh, I really thought I needed ammo for my 417. Oh, there's grenades back here. We just learned something. We learned something together. There we go. Let's try to get all the ammo I can back for the saw. Hopefully that'll be full. It is. It's great. Oh, man. That's that's some bad accuracy. That's what that is. He has the AA-12, which is my favorite weapon in the game. So I'm going to go see if I can get that. Pretty sure right here, if you come to here, yeah, that's when you spawn the crazy dude with the knife. So, AA-12? Yes! Okay. So the AA-12, you don't know what it is, is an automatic shotgun that can hold 30 rounds in a, a drum magazine. Uh, in this game, the uh, rounds are also explosive, so it just makes the gun even more overpowered. So it's, it's a one-shot anywhere on their body as long as it hits. It would help if I actually hit their body, though. Uh, a problem is that it won't make anyone uh, need to be executed. It'll just kill them. At least I've never had it where they have to. You have to execute them afterwards with this gun. But this is definitely the best gun in the game because it it seems like it has well it does it has slug rounds, so you can use this from a distance. Did I shoot this guy and I need to execute him? Okay, well, I stand corrected almost instantly. Oh man, that was close. Okay. I've never needed to execute one of the knife guys. I wonder if you even can execute the knife guys. Anyway, yeah, it, you can only... Ro but I can't talk. It only holds 60 rounds, unfortunately. Uh, but, that's like 60 kills if you hit. Unfortunately, I'm not hitting. Come on, pop back up. There we go. It's obviously not the most accurate thing in the world, but, I mean, it doesn't matter because it's a one-shot, right? So... I think in this game it only has a 20-round drum, which is totally fine. 
I know in real life it has mini-sized drums and it has a, a magazine as well. If you'd rather ha use that, I think it's an eight-round magazine. I think. Oh. I guess the Turk guy is dead. So let's go ahead and execute this guy. Pretty sure this is the last enemy in this area. It is. I'll be damned. You're still alive. You want to stay that way? I recommend this. Step lively, people. We're about to bring this city to its knees. See, you want to see him. You want me to shoot him, or would you rather do it yourself? You get out of this alive, he's all yours. There will be a price for this, Walker. I hope you're prepared to pay it. All right, so, unfortunately, that is the end of the first part of Chapter 10. So, next time, guys, we're going to handle the second half. See you guys next time.